Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see and if so be part of this journey with us, one big happy family. Thank you so much for all your beautiful comments, your loving support, always. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'd like to mention if the video is too fast for you on any of them, in the description box there's a link, two minute video, how to slow down the speed of the video and also to turn your closed caption on. So the stitches I'm calling will be written down here. You can pause, read, and take notes. I don't write patterns. I get asked that a lot. For the most times, I use 2.75 hooks. Depending upon the uh, thread, I'm using 3, 3.5, or the pattern that I want to create to go bigger or not. And that's what you should do. For people that have tight stitch, use a size of hook bigger or two size bigger. And for people that have a loose stitch, you should go a little bit one or two size uh, smaller. So a small one to tuck in loose ends and a pair of scissors. I do have a private crochet uh, group that you're more than welcome to join as long as you have a profile. Also follow me on my uh, crochet page on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. If you're stuck on any projects, you could always message me through there. I'd like to mention that uh, a lot of you sometimes ask me about my threads. Uh, these are Portugal threads. I am in Europe. They're four ply, 100% cotton thread. And they sell, uh, it's $12, making the exchange, $12, 100 grams, which are balls like this, okay? It's about uh, 300 to 325 uh, yards, uh, minimum of order of six balls, okay? So uh, we're going to get started. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. It's free of charge. You don't pay for that, and it helps us create a tremendously and if you watch the video and if you're not a creator um, or don't crochet because I know some of you don't but love to watch my videos please do give a thumbs up on the video it's extremely important and if there is short commercials just watch the little small commercials I don't want you to be wasting your time in five ten minute commercial but it does help the channel again itself okay so let's get started everyone thank you so much and for the women that have been donating uh for the women in need of thread thank you from the bottom of my heart and for your tips also thank you so much and for the ones that are considering to do so to help the women in need of thread please consider so my paypal account is in the description box also if you want to give it through there if you want to give it through the little a thank you bag underneath the video you can the only difference is that youtube takes 30 percent of that money that you're donating okay let's get started everyone okay everyone so we're going to create this beautiful flower and this is inspired by um marcelo nunos which i absolutely adore a lot of you know that i've done a few of his flowers and absolutely love it so this is inspired by him he's the creator of this flower and i'm going to use this time the yellow in the center and the outskirt in this um my god it's it's a red but it's i can't even explain to you what kind of red it is anyway here it goes by number in portugal so this is number 29 these are four ply 100 percent cotton thread and i'll be using the lime green um, this flower is called the crab flower because he created the single crochet but going backwards, right? And it's been quite a few years since he has created this flower. And I've used it many, many times on different other projects, but I have not recorded it yet. So we're going to do this today. Very simple. I'm sure you guys are going to fall in love with it once you create it, okay? I'm going to use a 2.75 hook, a small one to tuck in loose ends, and of course a pair of scissors. Thank you so much for being here and welcome um, the newcomers and please give a thumbs up on the video if you like the video or the channel itself and if you haven't subscribed please do so it helps the channel to grow even more. Thank you so much. Also if you can share, sharing is caring. Let's get started, everyone. So the first thing we're going to do is that slip stitch knot. If you can, then do a five chain, but don't make it too loose because you want that centerpiece to be nice and closed in. I'm going to do one chain. 
And then I'm going to come back in and do a single and two chain. This is my first double crochet. And usually this is how I start my first double crochet on any project. Inside of here, I'm going to do uh, 15 more double crochets. With that first one, I'll have a total of 16 double crochets. Okay. And then I'm going to cut my thread and I'm going to come back in with that gorgeous thread. Okay. So I've done my 16 double crochets. I'm going to secure it here with a slip stitch. I'm going to tuck in my loose ends, bringing that string to the back and in between some of the loops back here and hide it just so we can uh, be safe. I'm also going to tighten my little circle here to close up well and pull the string through the circle in there so we can make sure that nothing comes apart. Okay. So I'm going to do the slip stitch knot. I'm going to come in on any of these double crochets here and I'm going to do a single and one, two, three, four, five, six chain, but only because it's the first one. Okay. I'm going to come from the bottom, not the single, but the chain one, two on my third one. I'm going to do a double crochet. So I'm going to have two double crochets sideways, if you know what I mean. Okay. And then I'm coming back in on the same one. And I'm going to do another double crochet, I'm trying to hide this little thread here as I go. So I don't have to deal with it. So now I sort of made like a V, but with a little loop here on the center. Okay. Now I'm going to turn to the side like that. Try to get this little thread here if I can. And I'm going to do a single working on this double crochet coming down and two chain. This is my first double crochet. I'm going to do three more. So I'll have a total of four double crochets working on the side here of that double crochet coming down. And then I'm going to turn my flower again. I'm going to work on this one going up and doing four more double crochets on this double crochet. Okay. One, two, three, and four. So now we are facing forward. I'm going to work on that back loop where we have those two sideways double crochet. I'm going to work on the back one and do 10 double crochets inside of that double crochet loop here. Okay. No chain space in between nothing. It's, you know, the paddle that we're creating. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. So 10 double crochets inside of that double crochet sideways, four coming down and four going up. Now we're going to come into the back double crochet and do singles. And this is why he calls it the, the first one is always hard to get in on any project that you do, I guess, you know, so he calls it, he named it the crab flower. Okay. Come into the next one. So we're doing this on every single one of them. Just coming back and doing singles. Probably there is a name for the stitch, but I have no idea. I'm just going for what he calls it, the crab. Not crap, <laughs> but the crab. Get it together, Maggie. Okay, so just keep going all the way to the first one. Okay, so... Here we have that single two chain. We must go in there also. So I'm coming in my second chain and doing that single. Okay. So now we're going to 
face forward. We're going to skip a space and go into the next one and do double crochet. One, two, three. These are going to be the sideways double crochet. I'm going to create another one coming inside of that space here where we have the three chains. So I have my two sideways double crochet already. Coming back in the same space, double crochet. So I created the second one, right? I'm going to come inside of that side double crochet with single two chain. That's my first double crochet. Creating three more, I'll have a total of four. So I have my four double crochet. Now I'm going to work on this one going up. So I'm going to turn my pattern, my little flower, and I'm going to come on this side one. Make sure that you don't loosen too much that stitch here or else it's not going to look pretty. Try to tighten as much as you can. So I'm going to do four more double crochet going on this paddle up. So I have the four. I'm going to turn it to the front and I'm going to use that back double crochet inside of that loop where we have the two sideways and do 10 double crochets again. So very simple, nothing to it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten okay now we're going to work again backwards singles on each double crochet all the way to the end sometimes it takes a bit of practice you know especially for people that have never done it I can remember the first time I did it and it was like, oh my God, really, I found it a little bit hard. But once you get the hang of it, you'll fly with it. And it makes beautiful uh, decor on pretty much any stitch. You must have seen me do some blankets with this <clears throat> edge or not blankets, but um, doilies and, and runners with it. And I think a blanket, baby blanket also. Okay, so all the way to the beginning. So I'm almost on my last one. The last one is that thing on two chain we went up. So I'm going to come on that second chain. Oops. That wasn't too smart, was it? Okay, and then skip a space and come in the next one and repeat everything all over again. Double crochet, one, two, three, chain. Come inside of that space here. Another double crochet. So we're doing that sideways two double crochets, right? with that loop so we have both right in here well, maybe if I tighten it you can see it better okay so and then come inside of the side one again single two chain or three chain however you start your double crochet and do your four double crochets all together then turn around, come into the next one, turn your little flower so it makes it easier for you to work, and do your four double crochets again. So I'm going to continue to do mine. At the end, you're supposed to have eight loops, or eight paddles, I should say. So I'll meet you at the end so we could connect all of the um, paddles together. Okay, and this is perfect also to make a granny square. If you're working on granny squares, you can use this uh, flower for it. It's got enough loops in the back that creates a granny square. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end of mine. Of course, it gets all more fixed once you add more into it, okay? 
Okay, everyone, so I've done my eight petals on my last one here. And I'm going to come and hook it exactly where we started that first uh, in that double uh, crochet there, in the two double crochets, in that first double crochet right in the center, right here on the first one, right in the space of the first one we did with a slip stitch. Then I'm going to come in where we have the other double crochet and do a single. Remember the little loop we left behind, the double crochet we left behind in the center? That's what we're going to work on. So single, one, two, three, chain. This will equal my uh, triple double crochet. So I roll twice on my hook. I have three loops on my hook. Take out once, take out twice, and three times. I'm going to do this. We're going to have a total of four. Take out once, take out twice, and three times. And my last one. Take out once, take out twice, and three times. One, two, three, chain. Again, coming into the next paddle where we have the other double crochet and work it. So you can bend it, work it comfortably, and do your four triples in here again. Two, three, and four. Okay. One, two, three, chain. Again, come in that double crochet in the center there. Bend your paddle to work more comfortable and work on that double crochet we left behind. three and four. So we're going to do this to all eight paddles. Okay. And it starts to come all together. Of course, it'll get fixed once we finish it. Okay. So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, you guys. So I'm on my last one. I did my three chains. I'm going to hook it on my last chain here of that first triple we did. I'm going to cut my thread and I'm going to come in now with my green, but I'm going to put this thread through the loops here. Since we're working in these loops of three chain to build those leaves, which the leaves are very easy. It's uh, five chain, eight chain and five chain. So of course it looks all crumpled up still, but once we put in the, the leaves, it will all fall into place. Slip stitch knot. Coming back here where we did the three chains, we're working only on the three chains all the way around single, and then do one, two, three, four, five chain. Come back in, single. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, chain come back in single and one more of five one two three four five so we have our first group of leaves here and then one two three chain coming into the next three chain single and just repeat everything again one two three four five come back in single one two three four five, six, seven, eight chain, come back in, one, two, three, four, five, come back in, and you have your second one, chain three, one, two, three, into the next one. So it's just a repeat now all the way around when you cut your thread and you're pretty much done. So I'm just going to show you what the back part looks like. Now, if you wanted to create a granny square, you'd grab these two here and try to get my nail through here. So always skipping one, right? And working on the four corners of the granny square. How perfect is that, right? So I want to thank every single one of you. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It was a quick one. I send you much love, much hugs to every single one of you. God bless you. Thank you so much for your support. Until next time, everyone. Bye-bye.